Hello and welcome back to more Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. Last time, things were going well until Pilaf's Castle. That place happened. And that was all normal. In order to train himself even further, Goku went to see Master Roshi. Krillin came afterwards, and together they were accepted as his pupils. Actually, Krillin didn't necessarily look like that in the anime. He looked more short and stubby and extremely creepy. And happily began undergoing training from the world famous Master, Ro Master Roshi. Alright, I'll accept both of you as my pupils. Aw, they could have kept in the part where they had to go get him a pretty girl or something. They get him, what do they call it, launch? Anyway. But I guess that doesn't matter. Okay, you two are about to start your training. Old timer, hurry up and start teaching us. First, we'll have a rock hunting test. Go and find the rock that I threw into the woods. Bring it back to me in the allotted time. I wonder which one of them will find the rock first. And whoever doesn't get... Whoever loses is supposed to not get dinner. But, you know. Kept that part out. Oh, no. Bottomless pits. I like the bane of my existence in this game. But whatever. Ow. Well, there's a burger down there, but I don't need it at the moment. Oh, hello, random spikes, because... I'll see if I can jump from here. Can I... Why can I not... There we go. Oh, that was not fair. Like at all. Got some of my health back. It's kind of redundant, though. There's not a whole lot of enemies here. Ah, I got it there before he got me. Increasing my health? Yes, that is awesome. Could have used that earlier. Thing up here? Nope, just a wolf. Oh, I'm time. Crap, I didn't notice that. I think that's a game over. Uh huh. That's a game over. Those stupid bottomless pits. <laughs> Seriously, like, I forgot how obnoxious they were. Oh no. Nah, I'm not dealing with that. If I could just, like,. Get rid of those. There. They better not respawn either. Ugh. Seriously, that's where half of my deaths come from. Well, boss fights. But still. It seems like most of them have come from bottomless pits. And they're so cheap, too. I don't like game design like that. Like, I can't stand it. Hello, random whatever that was. Again. Still like acting weird on my computer. <laughs> Again, I keep forgetting about that time, which I should probably hurry. Bullshit. Ah, I thought that was a bottomless pit for a second, and I was going to flip out. I have this tendency to stop and try and fight everything. Might as well get that health. Uh, well, there is some invincibility, but... Oh, it hurts enemies. I just took, uh, like, unnecessary chances with that. 
Oh, there it is. Hey, Goku, did you find the rock yet? I win this contest. But that one might be a fake. But it has the old-timer's mark on it right here. Let me see it for a second. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot. Krillin used to be a dick in the beginning. Like, seriously. He seriously was a dick in the beginning. Now I gotta run back. Uh-oh. Oh, that almost knocked me off. See, any placement is so dickish. I don't get it. Uh-oh. Anyway. Yeah, he was a dick in the beginning. Like, really? Was he kind of perverted to? Eh, probably. Like, it's such a contrast to how he's in Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, he's more the guy that gets beat up a lot. Now, to be fair, it's just that, you know, everything that shows up is generally an alien. Alright. I hate dickish enemy placements. Like that. Oh, what the hell? What the hell is still there? I left the beginning. Every jump scares me. Like it really does. Okay. That scared me, obviously. Ah. I'm losing more health than I should be. Okay, that was helpful. Whoa. Actually, oh my god, what's up with these stupid birds and their bombs? I don't remember if there's any bottomless pits. A little bit helps. Oh, now it's an extra life. Okay, sure. That was an interesting place. Oh, bullshit. I feel like I should get priority. Yeah, I don't like that. Good. <laughs> ah. How come you didn't have to fight these enemies? What a persistent guy he is. Hey, you want to fight for it? Should have been a question, I think. I forget Krillin's little moveset. Kind of forget it. Can I just spam this entire time? Just trying to... I don't know his moveset, so... Is he like... Oh, he's got that thing. But it's kind of hard to see where it comes from. No, I kind of I blocked it. Is there any way to, like, gauge when he's going to do that? Not that I want to test it, but, you know... kind of does that, like, little maneuver or stance. For a guy who gets spam happy. Oh, what? Uh, I might be able to do this. I don't know. Yikes. Oh, come on. Ugh. Hey, when enemies get spam happy with certain moves. Oh ho, you both have done very well. 
Actually, Krillin throws the rock at the end of the fight when he loses, but it's a fake one. So Goku ends up without lunch. But, turns out Launch's cooking was really bad, so I guess Goku benefited. Then again, Goku eats anything, so... I don't know if there's anything he's eaten where he hasn't liked it. Ten of the large rocks. Okay. Oh, okay. What if I'm timed? Well, I don't have health, so I suppose I should be good. I can't do my specials. It doesn't seem like I have health here. I think the thing was they were supposed to move a giant rock. But Goku moved it some, so Master Roshi picked a bigger rock. Kinda of dickish. But whatever. This is it, huh? Oh, whatever. Yay, I did it! Old timer, now you'll teach me martial arts, right? Uh, hmm, very well. Good grief, what kind of kid is this? Okay, I'll teach you a few techniques. Basic attacks. Now let me teach you a bit about one-on-one -on -one fighting. Moving around is just like you've been doing uh, up to now. You move around by using the control pad and pressing the A button. You also press the B button to attack. Ah! <sighs> you can also try using them at the same time as the control pad. Now try attacking Krillin and hitting him several times. So basically, use Krillin as a punching pad because... It's Krillin. Now this fight is kind of different. A little bit. English version, he says I did it, which is basically what Yata is anyway. You can guard against your opponent's attacks. When Krillin attacks, press back. Now try guarding. Once you've done it three times, you're clear. Oh yeah, I forgot. Blocking is... Yeah, I was trying to do that. Seriously, I was trying to do that in the beginning. Beneath your HP gauge is your rush gauge. While you have this gauge, you can counter and attack with the B button. However, once your uh, rush gauge is gone, you break. And that leaves you wide open, so be careful. You can only do damage to your opponent when they are breaking. Make sure you remember this well. The main point is to remember to make your opponent lose their rush gauge faster than you. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. A lot of big fights uh, after this point will involve this, so... You see, his rush gauge has gone down. Actually, Krillin wasn't really a punching bag until, like, um... Dragon Ball Z. Rushing and breaking, right? If you hit your opponent with a bad attack while they're breaking, you can launch your opponent up into the air. Once that happens, you can hit them with a pursuit attack. When that happens, time it right and with the B button. Oh, I'm yawning. Basically, like that. It's generally what the fights are going to consist of. Let's see World Tournament. Right, we'll do our best. Krillin doesn't look nearly as creepy as I've said before as he does in the anime. Well, that wasn't bad. Besides, you know, that one bullshit bottomless pit death. Oh, now we have Goku's actual official outfit. World Tournament Area. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. So, that's gonna do it. Thank you for watching, and... I will see you next time.